What's up everybody? Bro Trio here, and we're here to say Happy Mario Day! It's March 10th, everybody knows that's Mario Day, and today we're going to be counting down our top 10 Mario power-ups. Let's-a go! Small caveat right before we start the list. Now, we define a power-up as something that comes out of a block and helps Mario power his way through his journey. So, so somebody's favorite power-up is not going to make yeah, the list. Game-long power-ups <laughs> like Cappy or Flood will not be counted. It's only the temporary stuff that if you get hit, it goes away, or it only lasts for a certain amount of time, stuff like that. So with that out of the way, let's actually move on to these top ten power-ups. We're going to start this list off with probably what is the Mario power-up. The Super Mushroom. I mean, you can't beat it. It's the first one anybody ever gets. Like, it's in pretty much every game. I'm sure there's a few that I can't think of that it's not in. Yeah, it's Most not, of the 3D but ones in, don't have yeah, it, like but there's any even, 2D one has There's it. even upgraded ones, like the Mega Mushroom, that you just get even bigger and you destroy mm -hmm. the level, but that's like a timed thing. I don't know. I, it's a whole different thing. But, but gaining an extra hit in a Mario game is good enough as it is, but also just the little bit of an extra boost to, like, the sprite looks better, everything just flows better, and the Super Mushroom is just super. <laughs> 2D Mario games are more well known for their power-ups than the 3D ones, but it wouldn't be a top 10 without a few from the 3D games as well. That's why, coming in at number 9, the Bee Mushroom from Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 and had to make it in. It, it didn't make it higher, mainly because it's only functional in a few spots, but when it is, it's super fun, and the outfit is just adorable. It's adorable. Oh, it's man, delightful. Yeah. Mario dressed up as a little bee. I'm disappointed that you can't sting people. That would be so awesome if you could sting people. But It'd probably if be you did, it list. would get rid of the power Yeah, up. You, you lose it <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you know bees die when they sting stuff. And the second I saw it in one of the trailers, I had already like I hadn't even played the game yet, and I had already fallen in love with this bee outfit. It's the best. <laughs> it's one of the oh. most well-designed Mario costumes, and I wish they would put it in Smash as one of his alternate costumes. That would yeah. be fantastic. I just, I love the bee suit so much because of the, mainly the design. Honestly, it's mainly the design, but also flying around is fun, crawling on the honeycombs is fun. It's just a hell of a good time to be a bee. We're going back to the Super Mario Galaxy series for this one. And while the design is not as good as the Bee Mario suit, the Cloud Flower is incredible. It is impeccable for platforming. It's strategic. It's, it's really cool. Like, it's one of the best power-ups in yeah. the entirety of Super Mario Galaxy 2 because you have to make your way over these huge gaps with three clouds so you have to know where to space them out and know when to twirl to fluff them out yeah, and stand yeah. on them. And walking and, on the clouds is fun. Yeah. Make sure you don't accidentally jump twice and fluff them and just like waste it in yeah. the beginning. Yeah. You can waste them really easily. I did it multiple times and it cost me a few life points. But the Cloud Mario suit is probably the best power up in Super Mario Galaxy like at all. Because, I mean, this is a lot of personal preference, but I can't think of one that's more handy and, that, and not situational. Because, you know, they only give it to you in certain situations, of course, but if you could have Cloud Mario throughout the game, that would you'd be on easy street. That game is done. Yeah. So that is why Cloud Mario went above B-Mario. Not for design, but for pure fun and functionality. One of the most iconic 3D power-ups with the most kick-ass music to go along with it, we have the Metal Cap. Turning into Metal Mario was just a godsend in any Bowser level. You, I mean, you, you get briefly invulnerable, you get heavy. You don't and, have to breathe. Yeah, you can walk through, you can sink to the bottom of water, walk through that. 
You can walk through the toxic fumes if you need to. You can walk through the shallow lava because you're invulnerable. You can do anything as Metal Mario and your adrenaline is like pumping to the max because of this awesome music. So you're just beelining Dude. it, running as fast as you can. Yeah, like 60% of the reason it's it's on this list is because of that theme song. It's good. It's a lot so of good. Yeah. It also has a really cool aesthetic, like Mario turning into complete metal is just awesome. It has some cool functionality in Smash Bros, which really doesn't yeah. help it in this, but it's a nice bonus. And it's one of the more iconic power-ups, like I said, of the 3D Mario games, so it kind of has to be on here, but it's mainly for the cool way to have a new take on the invulnerability power-up and some kick-ass music. Clawing its way up to number six, we have the Super Bell. Cat Mario, like, it just... It's, it's a way better power-up than it sounds like it, it is. Yeah, and yeah, it's better than it looks, too. Yeah, when I first saw it, I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, and Nintendo, like, oh, everybody was just God. all about that power-up, and they were all wearing, like, the cat hands. That didn't E3. help. Yeah. That did not help at all. Seeing but, the greatest game designers in the world dressed like kitty cats and, like, licking yeah. themselves and stuff. It just, they probably but, didn't lick themselves, but it's like, If you on, take, take all that out of it, just... Judging the power by itself, it's pretty damn cool. Like it's if you amazing. Climb on, you can climb on walls. You, you have get an attack. attack. Yeah, the jump attack is awesome. It's you even have just the regular scratch, which is cool because typically yeah. Mario doesn't get that many attacks. Yeah, he like, really there's doesn't. A, a Every few power ups that give him some, but most it's of so them, badass. Even Bowser gets one. Yeah, yeah. He's he wants to be a kitty too. Bowser gets one. The Goombas <laughs> get one. Everybody's getting cat tails and cat ears because the Super Bell is that cool. It's pretty overpowered, really. It really is. It's it awesome. is. Not to mention, it makes it way easier to complete levels because when you get to the flagpole, you can just claw your way up <laughs> yeah. to the top. You know what sucks about Mario? Damn Hammer Brothers. You know what's awesome about Mario? Being a Hammer yes. Brother. The Hammer Suit from Super Mario Brothers 3 is my personal favorite suit in that game. It's so awesome and it's so rare to get naturally. Because like, we had a Game Genie and we didn't know like strictly that was cheating back in the day, but we would just use it just to get the Hammer Suit. Because it was so oh, yeah. cool. It's so yeah. overpowered, too. Yeah. Like, everything dies from that hammer. Know, even Bowser dies. It makes some weird noises when you're tossing <laughs> hammers and hitting him. He doesn't even have to butt stomp through the floor. You can, yeah, you can just, like, hammer him into the ground with this amazing suit. I, I love, like, I don't know if it makes you invulnerable when you duck, but I used to think it did because he's, like, in the little does. shell. It's so cool. It is very well designed, super powerful. And that is what makes for a fantastic power-up in a Mario game. Next up, we have the second oldest power-up in the Super Mario history. And one of the most reoccurring power-ups in all Mario games with the Fire Flower. It's the classic second power-up you ever see. And it just makes Mario a ranged fighter. Yeah. And it's lighting stuff on fire is real cool. Yeah. Yeah. So like there's, that's one of the best superpowers out there. Pyromancy. So It's awesome. It even <laughs> translates well to 3D because it was so overpowered in Mario Galaxy, they had to give it a time limit. And it was good in Super Mario 3D Land and 3D World. It's good in pretty much any game. Oh, yeah. Like and even, it has a, even Mario Kart. Yeah. Oh, man. It's great. Yeah, Mario Kart. Classic of the yeah. classic, man. Firefly. Not to mention, it almost always has a good design to it. You see, although it seems to change quite a bit. It typically goes back to Mario with his red overalls and white hat. Luigi's but, green yeah. overalls. Every hat. now and then, like Super Mario 3, he just turns fully orange. Yeah, I don't know where orange came from. But... I like that one, too. Yeah. I like them all. The Fire Flower is one of the best power-ups. You can do practically anything other than kill Buzzy Beetles with it. Just from Mario 
flicking them out of his mouth or his nose, whatever he's doing. Pretty he, sure he's doing hands. it right. Well, like, he does it from his face. Yeah. Whatever he's doing, we love the Fire Flower. It's easily one of the most overpowered, like, unique items of the Mario franchise. My personal favorite power-up is the Tanuki suit. The raccoon suit is pretty up there, though, and we're just going to go ahead and lump those in together because they're basically the same power-up, except Tanuki is an upgraded version where you can also turn into a statue. Way better. Yeah. Uh, Mario like, looks like a little teddy bear. Yeah, there's not, a, there's not a lot of uses for the statue part besides like letting people pass you by, but... The raccoon is just one of the best power because you can fly, you can hit stuff with it, you can super run. Yeah. You really can't fly. The, yeah, you it's super not really run fly. so much that you glide and then you fall with style like a raccoon tailed badass <laughs> Italian plumber that you are. It's one of the weirder power ups, too, that you get a raccoon tail from a leaf. Yeah. There's probably some Japanese mythos to that or something. But to those of us Americans, they're just weird Japanese Mario doing his Mario thing. And it even helps that in it translates well to the 3D games as well. Because in 3D Land, it's there. And it's awesome. And Tanuki is actually even buffed up more than that. Oh, yeah. Because if you do the stone in the air, one, you can slam on people. And two, you get money when you fall down. It's awesome. A power-up that we definitely need to see again would be the Cape Feather. It is the bane of Charge and Chuck's existence. It can vaporize his baseballs, kill him in one hit, you can fly, you can slam him into the ground face first and kill everything around you and walk away unscathed. You, When you jump, you can puff the Cape Feather and go and fly like as long as you're physically able, as long as you're good at it, you can just keep going. Yeah. The Cape Feather is amazing. It makes you practically invincible while you're spinning. And, like I said, flying's awesome! Flying is great in 2D Mario. How it's never come back is beyond me. The only yeah, I... game it's come back in has been the Smash Brothers series. Yeah, and it gave it a different power with reflecting. Like, where yeah, is it? Why? Like, I don't know where it went. And but capes are to... real cool! Superman's got a cape. He's real cool. Batman's got a cape. Mario's got a cape. <laughs> Capes are great! We already covered the Fire Flower, Tanuki Suit, and the Cape Feather, so I think there could only be one power-up that is supreme above all those power-ups, and we're going back to Super Mario World for this one, it's Yoshi! How could it be anything but Yoshi? He's this the power-up power that's so good he became his own character with side yeah, games. He's his own. He's got his own series. He raised Mario from a baby, or whatever. He brought him to the castle. Of yeah, Luigi got Luigi yeah. Back. He piled around with the babies for so long. Yoshi is phenomenal. He like we like to say. He added an extra hit, which is what Mario Power Up should do. He, an extra get backable hit because that's he, true. he just gets startled. You can jump back on him. And you're right back where you started. If you're a monster, you can sacrifice him and get an extra jump and fall, yeah. knock him down the cliff. Some of those secret levels, you have to do oh, that yeah. because the developers are just sadistic. Plus, he can just eat everything. And he gets so different powers good. based on what color shell he eats. If it's we, amazing. Yeah. And There's it's, multiple colors of Yoshi's, too. That yeah, the blue the ones always power fly. Ups. Yeah, it's... Yoshi is by far the best power-up in Mario. He's like eight power-ups in one. His shoes yeah. are invincible to, like, spikes and crap. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because he's like an upgraded version of the Goomba shoe, which is one that I like, too. Yeah. yeah. There's only one downside to Yoshi. He can't go in castles. Other than that, yeah, he's Yoshi is perfect. And he, he translates well to the 3D games as well. Not so much Sunshine, but Super Mario Galaxy 2, the Yoshi sections hey, were hey, incredible. Sunshine, no, when he's just like... You just, oh. He's vomiting up that fruit juice. No, it's gross, and it's weird, and he vaporizes in water. But Super Mario Galaxy 2, that's how you do 3D Yoshi right there. Yoshi is the best power-up in the Mario series. By far. Yeah. He was, he was almost a clean sweep on top of all of our lists. Aaron was the only one that voted him number two. 
but Yoshi is by far the best power-up in Mario history, will remain the best power-up in Mario <laughs> history unless something unfathomable happens. But I highly doubt it because Yoshi will reign supreme until the end of time. He is just the best. He deserves a cookie. So, that <laughs> is our top 10 Mario power-ups list. If there weren't some on the list that you thought should be on there, let us know. Like, we left the penguin suit and the ice flower off and stuff like that. You didn't want to. It was really hard yeah, in this it, list. It there's a lot of Mario power-ups, man. This felt is bad. Just, this yeah. is the best like, of the best. There were a lot of good ones that just didn't make the cut, and mm -hmm. it, it hurt. A but, lot. My double cherry was very close. Yeah. Didn't quite do it. But, let us know in the comments which ones you love, and... Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned to Bro Trio for more content. Happy Mario Day. Go play a Mario game.